I'm Naya Fife and this is my academic success assignment. I would describe critical thinking as asking questions in order to further understand a topic and then making your own judgments about the information given to you rather than just accepting um, the information. So being able to analyze it instead of just trusting whatever information given to you was true and being able to deeper think on it. Uh, my personal definition of academic success would be being well-rounded in many areas of expertise but then also uh, mastering one strong suit so um, it kind of ties into the next question of what i think the goal of college is i think the goal of college is to master one area of expertise which would be whatever you major in and knowing it so well that you know all the ins and outs of it that so well that you'd be able to teach it to someone else because that means you really understand why everything happens so you understand why you understand rather than just remembering information you truly get what's happening um, and academic success would be knowing a lot about um, knowing a little bit about a lot of different things but then having the one major strong suit that you understand completely uh, my greatest strengths uh, mostly school related would be I'm not afraid to ask questions which I think is really good um, I'm friendly so even if I ever have to work in a group I have no problem with it um, I'm good at math just as a subject and I'm hardworking um, and I like to get things done on time my weaknesses is that I'm easily distracted um, I have to work really hard for boring subjects or subjects that I'm not interested so things like history, I have to try a lot harder on because I just don't see a point in studying them. Um, and then I procrastinate a lot. Um, and these will impact my experiences in college by, I know at least my weaknesses, they'll make doing assignments a lot harder because if I do procrastinate, I won't have as much time to do projects that I really should spend a lot of time on. Um, and I need to work really hard on subjects even if I don't think they're important. Um, but also not being afraid to ask questions and being friendly can help me out with a lot of different uh, projects that I'll have to do in the long run of college. And then do I think high school has prepared me for the challenges of college? Yes and no. I think in a broad sense, yes, it has taught me how to problem solve and work with people and you know understand assignments. Um, but also it hasn't prepared me for work that was this rigorous or that I actually have to work for because in high school it was more of just understanding things and remembering things for a test and then not having to remember them again. Whereas in college I really do have to understand topics even if I'm not interested in them or if they're really difficult to me, I still need to be able to understand them as a whole. So I think high school, at least senior year, kind of prepared me more for that um, by taking AP courses that were kind of like college classes. Um, but the rest of high school didn't re really prepare me for challenges that were as hard as the challenges that I faced in college.